Hi everyone and welcome to The Gift. Today is my very first interview and I can't wait to share with you this amazing gifted woman. Her name is Carla Brody and she is the co-founder of Contemporary Yoga in Auckland, New Zealand. So I met Carla in 2008. I was um, going through a bit of a stressful time at that period in my life and my physiotherapist actually suggested to me to come and do one of your classes. And the way she described it to me was, you're not just doing yoga poses, Lorraine, you are just, you're moving every part of your body and it's just slow, gentle, releasing movement. And I thought, hmm, that sounds like a bit of me. So I went to your class and all I remember is I walked out no, I didn't walk out, I floated out feeling so calm, so relaxed and I knew in that moment that you were going to be in my life and here we are and we've been through a lot. Carla has taken me through a lot of things in my life. When my husband was very ill and I was his caregiver, his passing, grieving the loss of my husband. You've been there through all of that with me. So you know a lot about me. But today we're gonna to be talking about what Carla does. And she is a yoga teacher, but much more than a yoga teacher. So before I start telling you all about the amazing benefits that I get, I would love you, Carla, to share with everyone what style of yoga you are teaching. Thank you, the room. Thank you for inviting me to be here. It's such a pleasure to share my passion around movement. And um, we're lucky on every Monday morning, we get to all meet up as a group of humans and um, explore practice together. It's and a great way to start the week. Yeah. I feel what defines uh, my approach to yoga is natural movement. So it's looking at inspiration from nature, whether or not that's animals or plants. And it really dives back into the tradition of yoga where there was a, a deep contemplation and a deep study on the nature of the mind, on the nature of the body, and how we can freely express that. So it's, a, it's, it's stripped away from a linear, organized, uh, this is this way and that's that way. It, it frees up the, the space so that we can move in ways that really support our uh, freedom, yeah. our yeah. integration, our cohesion, our agility, our flow. Yeah. I mean, I love that. Moving with ease and grace. I think that that really is a big part of your yoga. And doing what is right for you. It's not about doing a yoga pose and thinking, I've got to do it exactly like the teacher. Mm -hmm. It's you encourage us and it, you're always encouraging us to do what feels right for you. Mm. I also love about your yoga is the internal investigation. Now this has been something so new for me to learn about my internal body, my digestive system, my muscular system, the nervous system and you use an iPad and books and we look at all the anatomy of the body and how it all works together. It's all connected. And if one of those areas is off, then it affects everything. I love this teaching because it's created awareness of me of what's happening in my body. Great, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and how the word that I would use to describe that is embodiment. So we're taking the concepts and ideas of what might be the benefits of yoga and then we're bringing them into the experience of those benefits or the experience of the living body the experience of our breathing bones, yeah. um, our pulsing heart. So rather than that being outside of ourselves, we feel our heart and we move through our cardiovascular system in that way. Like, like a simple thing that just reminds me of, we'll just be walking around the room mm. and Carla will say, okay, I want you to move leading with your heart. Mm. Such a totally different way of movement when you consciously connect to your heart and think, right, all my movement is coming from my heart. And it's actually a gorgeous feeling. Mm. So Carla, let's just talk about this modern life that we live in. 
Um, we've all got really busy lives, I think, more than ever. And I think so often people are carrying a lot of stress and they don't even know they're carrying it. Mm. Mm. And that's why I think it's so important to do a yoga practice like yours. Mm. Yeah, well, I feel like there's two ways that we can go. One way is up and one way is down. And all those upward conditions that start to happen in the body when we stay up are, yes, stress. You need healthy stress to get out of bed in the morning, no question. But when yeah. we stay on that high stress and then we sustain that high stress, then it leads to conditions such as insomnia and hyperventilation, hypertension, tension, headaches, sore stomachs, yeah, issues with digestive mm -hmm. system. And that can be, that, those levels of high stress can be quite unnoticed because it becomes normal to be on that high tone. Yes. So a lot of what um, we do and what I specialize in what I teach is this unwind of the nervous system so that we, we return back to, I know, cats or dogs um, or I don't any, like cats I'm afraid of cats any kind of animal what they do well is they rest well and they go out and do what they need to do and then they rest well um, we've made up our own rules about how active we are and how busy we are and how full our lives are and then we might proportion off a tiny part of our day yeah. for rest or for reflection or for nourishment um, and perhaps that balance, balance. is not quite balanced yeah, in, in the balance. Ways. And that again is a, another beautiful thing about doing a yoga practice that I have found is that yes I can start my Monday off with coming but what it's doing is that it's connecting me up, it's setting me up for the week, mm. it is reconnecting myself with my, my heart, um, my intention, mm. And what I've learned from your yoga is that now it's become a part of my everyday life. Mm -hmm. So I'm very aware when I'm driving in Auckland traffic and my shoulders are coming up to my ears and I'm tense, I'm like... <sighs> and I can do some deep breathing. Mm -hmm. And suddenly that tension is leaving my body. So awareness is everything. Once you become aware of anything mm. in life, once you've got that awareness, it's a beautiful thing mm. because it can really start putting you back in balance. Because mm. it's natural to get out of balance.